Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We are starting this vlog from the car. I'm about to go hit a back sesh at the gym right now. Want to bring you guys along for an upper body workout. This is my pull day routine that I've been doing. Um, honestly, since I started cutting, I haven't really switched up my workout split too much. I'm doing 20 minutes of cardio after. Pull day, so a little bit of back and biceps. Um, I'm excited to share this workout with you guys. Back day is one of my favorite days of the week, so definitely going to be fun to share this workout with you guys. I hope you guys try it out. Um, yeah, definitely let me know if you guys do. Um, I do up upload every single Wednesday and Sunday. So if you guys want to hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification button so you guys can be notified every single time that I upload, I would greatly appreciate it. Stick around, join the fam. I upload on all other social media platforms. I have a podcast link down below. Um, my Instagram, I post a ton of other fitness related content on there. Um, of course here, my YouTube channel and then my TikTok as well, which is a lot of just fun and lifestyle content. A lot of just more personable things and just a different side of my life as well. So lots of fun. Um, normally on Sundays, I do upload full weeks or a full day of eatings or I upload like day in my life behind the scenes of like running two businesses and just all the fun things of being an influencer. So definitely stick around. There's content for everyone and I'm on all platforms. So it's definitely a fun time over here. If you guys are not new here and you guys are returning, you guys will notice your girl dyed her hair. Um, I have my spray tan on my body, but not my face. So that's why I may look a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I dyed my hair guys. I literally just dyed it yesterday. So that's why it's a little bit darker than how it's actually going to be. It's not perfect. It. It's just a semi like gloss and toner. Um, I just want to tone it a little bit darker I went darker on the roots and then in the Sun you guys can see there is um, Different colors kind of in it just a little bit of like a lighter I'm totally showing you guys my boobs right now But a little bit of like lighter browns mixed in it's really hard to see unless you guys are in the Sun But yeah, I love it uh, My plan is obviously to keep it on the darker side and the next time I go in in ten weeks I'm planning on adding a little bit of just like lighter brown money pieces and lighter brown on the top Just for a little bit of a balayage and just some dimension, but I really like it. I had my hair blonde for so many years. If you guys are OGs, you guys would know that I have my hair black, um, like black, black back in high school. Um, and then I ended up dyeing it back to the blonde side. Had it super, super blonde for the last couple of years, but I just decided to go back to the dark side. It's easier just to maintain and my natural color is brown and this is more of a chocolate brown. So I'm just really vibing with this. And then obviously adding a little bit of just dimension in it will just make it feel a little more me. So I love it. I hope you guys like it too. And it's just, it's an overall vibe. So hello sir who's riding his bike past me and staring at me as my film anyway i'm gonna take you guys along this workout i am excited hope you guys enjoy if you guys like it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below let me know what workout videos you guys want to see next and with that being said let's head to the gym y'all so we are starting this workout off with some lap pull downs. I go back and forth between the attachments that I like to use, but lately I've really been enjoying this wider grip one. I just feel like I feel the contractions so much in my lats. So when I'm doing this, I'm really focusing on not swinging my body and using momentum. I used to fly through these and just really swing and go heavy. But now that I've been focusing on really using a good weight that still challenges me, but I can also get through eight reps and struggle on those last two to three reps and not compromising my form has helped so much with back gains. I'm really contracting my lats whenever I'm doing this and focusing on pulling my elbows downwards. I used to think of using like my upper body and shoulders to pull this down, but once I started focusing on really using my elbows and pulling them, I guess like down and kind of diagonal, it's really just changed the game for me. And I am focusing on doing slower reps rather than just flying through these. I find that doing that slower controlled reps really helps with the mind to muscle connection for me. Okay, so next we have a T-bar row, which honestly I prefer over doing bent over landmine rows. I feel like I'm not compromising my lower back with these because of the chest support. There's two different ways you can grip. You can do a wide grip or a closer grip. I am doing a little bit of a closer grip with this just to target a different part of my back. Um, I'm really focusing on pulling my elbows backwards kind of towards my like hip area, I guess is what I'm saying, um, and really focusing on rolling my shoulders forward. That way I'm getting the full range of motion within the exercise. I normally start off with the same weight increasing on the last set and doing about four sets of eight to 10 reps. So 
So moving on to the next exercise, I literally used to hate doing single arm rows, but now that I've just found with proper technique, I honestly love them. So I'm really focusing on pulling my elbow back to my hip and really using my shoulder to go forward and then just kind of swinging it backwards, if that makes sense. It's kind of more of a like half circle rotation rather than pulling up with your shoulder and pulling up and down. As you guys will see in this clip, you guys will kind of just see I'm moving forward, doing more of that half circle movement pulling back to my hip bone that way I'm getting that full contraction in my back muscles Okay, so this may not be the best angle, but now we have rear delt flies. I absolutely love doing these. Sometimes I'll hit rear delts on a shoulder day since they are a part of your shoulder muscle, and then sometimes I'll hit them on a back day. It kind of just depends what they squeeze better into that day. Um, today I chose to do them on a back day, and I'm using two cables, and really, I guess I'm like crossing them into an X and using my rear delts to pull that cable away or towards me I guess it's kind of hard to explain but as you guys can see in the video club you guys will kind of be able to see what I'm doing better um, but I normally do about three sets of 12 to 15 reps I prefer the higher rep range for this exercise So then for our last back exercise, we are doing seated face pulls. I go back and forth between doing these seated, kneeling, or standing, but I've really been enjoying doing them this way and focusing on pulling that cable or the like rope towards my forehead to really feel that contraction and just kind of holding it there for a second whenever I pull it all the way down before releasing it back. Then for our bicep exercise, we are doing cable hammer curls. I love doing this with the rope attachment. As you guys can see, I am standing on two plates to get more of a range of motion. Since I am only 5'2", I feel like this helps so, so much. I stand on two 25-pound plates. So I normally do about four sets of 12 to 15 reps. I like to keep it in the higher rep range just to really burn out my biceps. So this is going to be the first bicep exercise that I'm going to be doing. So then finishing off with some cable 21s. I love doing these on the cable attachment for more tension. I do it with the easy bar attachment. So I'll start off by doing seven bicep curls, half range or half rep. So I will start at the top and then lower to the bottom doing seven half reps or half range of motion bicep curls. And then finishing off with seven full range of motion bicep curls for a total of 21 bicep curls these kill and i'll normally repeat this three to four times so that is it for today's video guys i know i switched out this you're probably like what the heck maddie why are you not wearing this same outfit i had to shoot a bunch of pictures right now for my instagram so that's what i was doing this whole time so i had a bunch of outfits that i was changing but i got content so that was fun but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed watching my little workout back workout um one of the routines that i like to do um uh, whenever i am doing a pool day if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up letting me know comment down below what you guys want to see more of and let me know what kind of workout videos you guys want to see i love doing these every single wednesday so let your girl know and with that being said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next time video bye guys